Joining me on the line right now, I've got Ozzy Jurek. Ozzy, lots to talk to you about today. I want to get to, uh, you know, as you know, I've been sort of alluding to that Calgary-Edmonton uh, market as a potential investments in real estate, and I'll just give you the blunt question. What's your take on that? You know, we all hear the horror stories of plunging house sales and soaring, soaring vacancy rates in Alberta's big cities. But, you know, Mike, the thing that we always talk about is that you make the most money on the day you buy, and you make the most money, which is the day you buy at, is when the market is down, not when it's at the top. And we are looking at Alberta all of the time. I know you like it. I love Calgary and Edmonton. But there's some real reasons to maybe do some bottom fishing. The Alberta Treasury Board notes Alberta's going to have GDP growth of 3.2%. There hasn't been any new construction to speak of, so you have little competition. More than 30% in Calgary, and the price is down some $50,000 from last year. Hey, it's time to get a, take, a, take a closer look. Can I ask about that multifamily market there? Um, I, I know that there's been some action in that market. Uh, can you give me a quick take on that? Sure. Calgary had some 22 apartment buildings that sold in the first half of this year. But when you look at 2012, there, would have, there were 38 sales, so it's 50% down. And the, in, in Edmonton, the first half was stronger. It's actually twice, uh, almost three times as many sales as in Calgary. But um, but but Edmonton generally is slightly better. There's a lot of capital investment going to downtown Edmonton, and uh, the whole city allows you to make some money, some cash flow. The average uh, price on a on a multifamily condo that you can rent out is now 132,000. That's about a third of where Vancouver's uh, prices are. Well, and that's why it's interesting, and I think some people are looking uh, across the Rockies for that reason from Vancouver uh, into us in Edmonton and uh, and Calgary. Uh, is Edmonton different market uh, than Calgary at this point? I mean, it has historically, but um, what do you make of, the t uh, of Edmonton as a rental market? Well, I think it always is price versus what you can rent. And if I can buy, pay 132000 right now, it is the reason is that the vacancy rates are higher, but Calgary has even higher rates right now. But the big thing is capital investment is in Edmonton. It's a government town, so you have government services, you have more employment. And overall, I look at Bob Dylan, who's the founder of Main Street Equities, who talks about Calgary. He says, hey, every indicator is showing that things have bottomed. And the thing is, we as investors, we quite often wait till it's too late. My company, we're actively looking in Edmonton and Calgary to buy that apartment building uh, on behalf of our investors. So we want to look at oh, guys. Alberta is worth a look. There are no rent controls. The economies of both Al Calgary and Edmonton are improving. Hey, and in inward migration to both cities is increasing. Yes, oil is still down, but this may be the time where you make that deal for the future. Well, certainly uh, interesting to look at. Hey, Ozzy, you got a hot property for me? Yeah, well, this is at the other end of the spectrum. Last year, last week we had one for twenty nine thousand on Burns Lake. Now we got one for eighty two million. Okay, okay, it's not hold it. Eighty two million, eighty two million. <laughs> oh, that's a hot property. Well. Well, I know it would be for you, Mike. Come on. <laughs> it changed for you. But it's, listen to this. It's 10,910 acres and 108 separate fee simple titles. There's 115,000 square feet of commercial properties. There's titles, uh, 8,800 acres from Denman, Florida, Cotes, Reed Islands, Campbell River, all the way down to Oregon, where you have the largest mature cranberry farm, and you have a pub and a family restaurant. I got that. Merchant, merchantable timber. What a deal. <laughs> okay, I, I'm not still not clear where it is. <laughs> well, it's in 108 separate titles. Oh, Oregon I see. Oh, my gosh. So, you, you, you spread your risk. Aren't you always talking about spreading the risk and <laughs> income producing uh, farms and blueberries? And my gosh, I mean, imagine you'd be really, well, you'd be really a corporation, I guess. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to get my checkbook, uh, checkbook out after the show. Just for a little cool $82 million. We'll see how hot that property is. Ozzy, you go out and have a great weekend. Yeah, thank you very much, Mike. You know, you know, you always talk gold. You know that you can make a lot of money in this game. The Trevino says, just ask my ex-wives. Both of them are so rich that neither of their husbands work. <laughs> <laughs> on that happy note, yeah, that that cheerful note, uh, we'll say goodbye to Ozzy. Stay.